when you're scaling um, property management businesses or you're scaling any business, you don't just take all the business that you can get. Maybe when you first start, maybe you do. I know that we have. I, we have plenty of clients that just fell into our lap and we have them. Congratulations, us. We get to deal with them now. But it's great when you get to go out there and choose them. And that's the same thing for a real estate investor. Just because some wholesaler has thrown an address across your lap and maybe you can afford it, but it doesn't fit with what you're trying to do. You don't always, you don't take everything that shows up. Oh You've my gosh. A hundred percent. And I think it comes with confidence over time. So I do remember this critical moment where we shifted gears and decided that we don't need to be the low income property management company anymore. We had this building where um, we were kind of we kind of became the cricket store. Do, do you know cricket phones where yeah, 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 yeah. it's like very retail and you you go into the store, you pay your bill. It's for people who don't have like any credit or anything and are just paying cash. We were kind of that thing where our, our doors were always open and it was just this revolving door of people paying cash who didn't have credit. And we decided we're going to lock our doors. We're not taking this. We're going to lose this building that pays a lot of bills and is a makes us a lot of money. And we're going to go after higher end business. And it was a huge thing for us because this this client, this business, and you know, you have those clients who are like, I have this dog over here, but then I have these nice buildings over here, and you can't get the nice stuff without the dog. Well, what was it that? Do you remember a specific point? Was it a, was it a specific bad property that you managed, or yes. was it okay? Tell me about. Well, that. it it was. This, what was the experience that made you go never again? Well, it was just the deciding who are we going to be. So okay. it was a level 10 meeting with all the owners. And it was like, are we going to be this business where we just take any piece of garbage or are we going to have standards mm. and locking our doors and, and then improving the online experience was going to get us a different clientele because we were going to have an amazing website. We we're going to have everything online. And that current clientele didn't know how to use a computer, didn't have email addresses, yeah. you know. So um, we made that strategic decision and never looked back. But we had to really look at ourselves and be like, do we believe in ourselves enough to make this transition and to maybe make less revenue while we're building it? And we decided to do that.